Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're talking gaming on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro Max. So without wasting any more time, let's jump in. So there are a ton of iPhone videos out there, you're looking through all of them, but this is the one you've been waiting for. I'm talking about gaming on the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro Max. Now, both iPhones, of course, are probably one of the two most popular ones people will be looking at. The iPhone 11 comes in at 6.1 inches in display. It's an LCD display, so which means your battery should last a little longer. 3,000 milliamp battery, much bigger, longer battery life than you would expect from last year. Does come with four gigs of RAM and has the, uh, the A13 Bionic chipset, so much faster chipset, better performance. And we'll look at heat dissipation again on that as well. Now, they all both have stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos with spatial audio, so we'll take a look at the speakers as well. Now, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is a 6.5 inch device, does have the biggest battery of all the iPhones at 3,969 milliamps or so, roughly. Um, and it does have an OLED display, a lovely display. If you look at both displays side by side and you're checking out that Kakashi wallpaper, yes, you can download it, use the link down below. The iPhone 11 Pro Max um, OLED display looks lovely and vibrant, but we don't care about that in this video right now. We care about gaming performance. The A13 chipset on both devices, four gigs of RAM on both devices, different battery sizes, spatial audio, Dolby Atmos, but games. How do they actually function? And then we'll also check out Apple Arcade, which is Apple's new service. You pay $4.99 a month to go ahead and download games and play. Now, not AAA titles there, but some really cool, interesting games for you guys to check out. I'll be playing most of that on the iPhone 11. Check out temperatures as well, but without wasting any more time talking and yapping, let's go ahead and play some PUBG.
joke. Ready? Alright, so gaming on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 11 is really good. I mean, it's really smooth all the way through. Whether you're playing AAA titles like PUBG, Fortnite, or even Vainglory, or you're playing titles uh, from Apple Arcade, it runs pretty well. I didn't notice any slowdowns, any holdups, and I think just the A13 uh, Bionic uh, processor and the amount of RAM you have is really solid. It works out pretty well. Audio was one thing I really liked. I like the way the iPhone sounds this year. I think probably this is the best sounding speaker I've had. And I will do my speaker test compared to the Galaxy Note uh, 10 Plus and other devices, but I really like the way the iPhone sounds. I think that ad addition of Dolby Atmos plus, plus the spatial audio that you talked about really gives it this very nice breath and um, space, if you will. Game sounded really rich, so that's a really good point. Now, when it comes to temperatures, iPhone runs pretty warm. Now, the iPhone um, 11 Pro Max did about 100 degrees, uh, but I think just the location where it is really feels warm uh, behind the devices, as well as also the iPhone 11, while I was playing, of course, the Apple Arcade games, also went up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, um, by the way, not Celsius. So again, ran really warm. Apple doesn't have any specialized cooling system, uh, at least that they've mentioned within the iPhone for this year. So again, these devices will run warm. And this is in about, say about 40 minutes of gaming or so. Battery also dropped about 25% from 100. So you take that as you will for both devices. Uh, that's what you get in terms of gaming on your iPhone. Now, speaking of uh, feel and touch at the back, as you notice, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has that matte finish. The iPhone 11 kind of more shiny. And I've got to say though, I'm not a fan of that matte finish when it comes to gaming, which is why, speaking of which, uh, of course, I threw up a case on there and I love the feel of the speaking cases uh, on these devices. Again, you guys know I like speaking. Uh, the uh, the Rocket Armor case feels, feels really good on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, as well as also the Liquid Air case. I think the Liquid Air case is probably my favorite case on the 11 Pro Max because it gives me much better grip when I'm holding it. And, and just I also, it dissipates some of that heat as well. So it gives me much time to play um, on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now on the iPhone, 11 though, I do like the liquid crystal case just because of those bright shiny colors that you have with the iPhone 11, um, the six cool colors. I want to see those colors pop out and I like that uh, as well on this device. But you get the idea of what the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro Max feels like when you actually touch and feel the devices, um, using them to game, um, the kind of performance you see out there. I think a lot of people will like it if you're an iPhone user. Uh, gaming on this device is pretty good. Now when it comes to Apple Arcade, 
I like what I see. Uh, even though they're no triple A titles, I think uh, you're gonna get a lot of benefit from it because there's a lot of fun games to play. And hopefully they keep adding more and more titles that it becomes a really robust ecosystem for games and gamers to go ahead and select. And hopefully we see a triple A title there, at least something big enough to attract more attention, whether it's a 2K, whether it's a PUBG or Call of Duty or something like that, that says, woo, uh, you know, it's worth paying for this on a monthly basis. So. If you have any questions or any comments about gaming on the iPhone 11 Pro Max as well as the iPhone 11, I love the audio on it. I think gaming performance is solid as you would expect. Uh, but heat, Apple heat, gotta fix that. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Leave your questions down below. Stay tuned for more iPhone related videos. I've got some surprises for you as well. Uh, otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel guys and Always enjoy your entertainment.